Right now to the game, Mark Van Helvert's Cougars, the toast of the Vancouver Island Junior Hockey League, taking on the newbies, the West Shore Wolves. Home side led 2-0 after the first period, and they kept pressuring in the middle frame just over a minute in. Jordan Davy has stopped at close range, but the juicy rebound was picked up by Ben Kinshala. 3-0 Cougars. Then they come for more. David Marshall goes cross ice for Wade Johnson and watch as he makes the water bottle dance. The Wolves were trying to get something going on the power play, but goalie Evan Rock having none of it. Great save right there. Wolves netminder Matt Chester kept his team in this one, shut the door for the rest of the period, and his teammates rewarded him with three quick goals in the third, but penalties prevented the Wolves from any sort of comeback. Victoria scores three on the power play. They open the Archie Browning Sports Centre with a win. 7-3 was the final. Well, there are two less veterans in the Victoria Royals dressing room today. The team has parted ways with 20-year-old forward Mike Forsyth and goalie Keith Hamilton. The pair were placed on waivers. The Royals wrap up preseason play this weekend with a home-and-home -home series with the Vancouver Giants. They are 2-2 two and two in exhibition. The NHL Players Association says they intend to challenge a lockout before labor boards in Quebec and Alberta. If successful, it could force the league to continue paying the players in those provinces. Players claim it would be unlawful to be locked out because the NHLPA isn't certified by the Quebec Labor Board. And under Quebec law, a union must have that certification for an employer to enact a lockout. More than 200 players are making their way to New York this week to attend meetings on Wednesday and Thursday. The UNBC Timberwolves found out firsthand just how good the UVic Vikes men's soccer team is. The Vikes scored a season's worth of goals over the weekend and handed the T-Wolves an 8-0 loss. Vikes are going to get a much better test this weekend when they travel to the mainland to face UBC and the Trinity Western Spartans. And it was a similar storyline for Tracy David and the Vikes women's team. They controlled all of the play against the Mounts Royal Cougars on Saturday afternoon. It was scoreless at the half. And in the second, the Vikes kept putting the ball on the foot of second-year player Emma Grieg. She kept putting it in the net. Grieg scored three times in the 5-0 victory. One tie, one win to start the season for the ladies. They will travel to Prince George next. Well, if you want to find the top-ranked junior tennis player in the world, look no further than North Vancouver. 18-year-old Philip Pelletwo wrapped up his junior career yesterday by winning the Junior U.S. Open. This is on the heels of winning the junior title at Wimbledon. He played in all four finals in Grand Slam events this season, winning two of them. And we have a slugfest taking place at Arthur Ashe Stadium right now. Britain's Annie Murray and Novak Djokovic battling it out in a fifth set in the men's final, the first set made U.S. Open history. Andy Murray won a 22-point tiebreaker that lasted 25 minutes. Murray took the first two sets, 7-6, seven, 7-5, seven, before dropping the third and fourth, 6-2, six, 6-3, six, four hours on the court and counting. It's an epic. It's a slugfest. Mm -hmm. It's like the Olympics. It is. It's the Olympics of tennis. Um, we have a friend who's lost their dog, Hudson. Yeah, tell us about so, that. So uh, I want to tell you a bit about a dog named Coda that's out there. Uh, there's a picture of Coda right there. He's a family dog, and the family sure would like to have him back. He was m lost at about 2 o'clock in the Mill Hill Langford area. So if anybody has any information or you see Coda, please give us a call at our newsroom, 250-414-6510, and we'll help get Coda back to the family that is missing him and loves him so much. Mm-hmm, that's all. Mm-hmm. All right, man, thank you. You're welcome.